Hello, my name is Eric Kazarnovsky. Today, we're going to learn how to create service request while being on the phone with a customer. It should be very fast and easy. After you log in to Smart Office, you click Create. And now we need to complete this uh, simple form. It looks like there is a lot of information required, but it's not. All required information is marked with red stars. So contact first name and last name is required. Contact information such as customer contact information such as phone and email is required as well as a job site address, type of job that is required and who is responsible for the billing. That's all. So let's suppose that we're gonna create a service request for a new customer and this new customer is a homeowner. It's a homeowner and it's a residential call. So uh, we're gonna complete, we're gonna put the customer first name. Uh, let it be Johnson. Phone name, phone number. Their email address is very important because once we put this email address in here, the system will continue following up with this uh, customer so that uh, this uh, satisfied Mary Johnson will never forget about uh, our services and refer us uh, her friends and come back for more services. So it is extremely important that we do not forget to record the email address. Now, the type of the contact is a homeowner. So therefore, we're going to skip the company information. Then for the job site, we can enter the address of Mary right here, but instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Mary's address right next to her name in the contact block. So we're gonna put one, two, three, Main Street, San Jose, California. And once we select same as a contact, you can see that this information is automatically duplicated so that uh, we know that the job site address is the same as Mary Johnson's address. Now, now we need to set up the type, let it be repair. Now the description is optional. However, uh, it is recommended to describe the nature of the call because this information will be automatically delivered to the person we are uh, going to assign this service call to. Now, source, we're going to record that this person is uh, found us on Yelp, and the billing information is the same as a contact. Click Next, and the job is done. Now you can see how simple it is to create a service request for new clients, to demonstrate how even faster it is to create a new service request for existing customers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create one more service request for the same person. Now, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna click Create, and again, I see the same form. Now we're gonna start typing Mary, and sure enough, the system found Mary here. Once I put just a few uh, letters here, it found Johnson. And notice all the information is already completed. Again, the contact type is homeowner. The job detail or job site address is the same as a, as a contact. The division is still residential. Uh, now, in this case, uh, the uh, type of uh, service that she requires would be roof inspection and in case of a source now i'm gonna set it as a return customer i'm gonna click that mary is still responsible for billing click next and the job of creating service request is complete you can see that it's a lot faster than taking notes on the paper and uh, 
it's very very easy if you still have any question please email your question to support at elevateimage.com or you can attend our one of our monday morning uh, webinar trainings where you can bring your questions again it's very easy uh, you just uh, join us any monday at 9 a.m uh, for more training thank you for using smart office goodbye